So four months it took? Yeah. So what type of wood is this? So this is red cedar. So Federal it's, Minister it's of Labor and Minister of Status of Women, of Kelly Leach, began her tour of Pacific Coast University for Workplace Health Sciences by meeting the artists who carved the iconic totem pole that presides in the lobby of the university. We also have to do more to make sure that those individuals that are injured on the job have an opportunity to be reintegrated into the economy. Minister Leach was at the university to make an important funding announcement, one that will lead to significantly better disability management programs in Canada. They will be receiving $125,000 from the Labour Program of Canada. The funding is being awarded to the National Institute of Disability Management and Research, or NIDMAR for a project that will improve return to work and disability management programs in federally regulated private sector industries. I think the intention behind this project and the others that we're, in, we're utilizing across the country is to make sure that Canadians who are injured are reintegrated into the workplace, that they have an opportunity to have a job long term, that they have uh, what they would consider to themselves meaningful employment. And we know that when individuals with disabilities are integrated into the workplace, it helps Canadians' productivity and and our competitiveness. They bring a, a richness to the workplace that uh, we know only individuals with disabilities bring. NIDMAR's licensed return to work disability management program assessment is an international standard that's been adopted by 18 countries worldwide. Canadian employers will now be able to use this tool to enhance their current return to work and disability management programs and policies. Wolfgang Zimmerman is the executive director of NIDMAR and the president of Pacific Coast University for Workplace Health Sciences. It's the federal government essentially having adopted this as a gold standard. It applies to federally regulated employers in the private sector, which are about 15% of the total Canadian workforce is federally regulated. So there are about 300 companies, but what makes this significant is that in the companies in the federally regulated sector, mm -hmm. they are by and large some of the absolute largest organizations in Excuse the country. Me. The funding is coming to NIDMAR because the rights and the ownership of the audit tool rests with NIDMAR. It's in fact an audit tool that operates at a three-level hierarchy. So it's a straightforward forensic assessment tool that allows a company to assess how well the disability management program is working. The intent, I think, is not only that the individual with a disability or their family is knowledgeable, but employers and employees are also knowledgeable, and that only benefits the entire economy.